Now, I just stopped the quad. I haven't even filmed an intro yet. And uh, I was going up to my tree stand just up the road to film an intro and there's a spruce grouse just sitting in a little tree there. So I'm gonna get the gun out and I'm gonna grab a shell. We're gonna walk up and see if we can get this guy. See if he's still there. Should just need the one unless there's some more there surprised like a nice male pretty big male yeah there he is sitting right there in the tree yeah wow what a big bird nice bird all right let's go ahead and do it Have a quick look around, see if there's any others around. It's oftentimes if there's one by itself, there's another one not not far. There he is. That's huge, actually. Wow. That's really big. Real nice, big, mature male spruce grouse. So I was already out a couple of times with Matt. You know, we went opening day and we didn't see a whole bunch. I think we saw three birds and we got one of them. One of those you probably saw in the intro, honestly. I didn't even make a video out of it. Out of it. it wasn't, you know, great. Pretty concerning actually. Now, then again, it was opening day and we did see a few bird hunters out, but um, it was a really popular area too, I guess. But I mean, me and Matt have our own little routes and places where we go. That's, there's, there's not a lot of traffic, like up where I am right now. I rarely see another person up here, like ever. Um, it's not a super long route I got, but you know, I get birds. I usually see two to five birds every time I come up here. And uh, we've been having some really crappy weather the past couple of days. Like, uh, actually we had a hurricane a few days ago, I do believe. So I figured the rain only ended yesterday, well, this morning, really. So what a better time to come out and try to get a few grouse and right after a bunch of rain. So they should be on the go, you know, getting rocks for the gizzards and whatnot. So we just hit the dirt road here this morning. Um, I'm here to meet Matt. Uh, he's in doing some moose hunting right now. He should be done soon. It's 7, 7.38. So I think we had an agreement to meet 7.45. Um, so I'm gonna dart in the dirt road a little bit and uh, turn that on so you can see a little better. I'm gonna dart in the dirt road a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll give him a call and see where he's at. Why? Just take it out, man. It's a beer can. <laughs> well, here we are. Just after picking up some garbage. Bird in the road. Let's see if we can get this guy. See how skittish he is. Does appear to be just the one. What? I don't know what to say about that. I rarely do that ever. Um, like obviously I miss sometimes, but like that's a spruce gross on the side of the road. That was like, that's the second time that happened this year. And I'm gonna slow down the footage. It looked like my shot went really high. And I'm using these, you know, target loads just for shooting skeets cause they're, uh, they're perfect for grouse. And that's the second time that happened. They seem to go way over their heads, like five to seven inches, like above where I'm aiming. I'll slow it down so you can see. I'm not trying to make up excuses or anything, but like, I know I can hit a grouse, man. I, I duck on so I can shoot birds on the wing 
There's no way I'm missing grouse like that. That shouldn't happen. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm just trash. So after this happening to me two or three times within just the first couple of days of the opener, um, I started to question if it was me, which, you know, I'm going to miss sometimes. But just being fresh off a duck season opener in Labrador, I knew that like it likely wasn't. So I did a bit of research about the shells I was using, and I found a lot of reviews on them, and they actually do tend to shoot high. Um, so that's good to know, and I have a buddy up in Labrador who does a lot of partridge and ptarmigan hunting, and he said the exact same thing. He said he bought a bunch of boxes in bulk, and he absolutely hated them. They shot very high. So, I mean, that's good to know, I guess. Uh, I've heard of things like this happening, and I've seen it on YouTube and stuff, but I've never actually experienced it. So... I guess new experiences are good to know. Um, let me know in the comments if you've had anything like this happen to you. I didn't think I was that bad. But anyway, we're going to get going in the road some more and see if we can get lucky. But if we don't, that's a kick in the butt. I missed my chance. So, yeah. I'm here picking up garbage and getting rewarded, man. I just picked up a beer can and found a red devil. Picked up that uh, beer can earlier. Found a grouse. Uh, Grouse also found his way into the woods, but pick up garbage when you're out in the woods. You never know, you just might get rewarded. It's not hard to tell who the types of people who like the litter are. Man, at least finish your drink, man. So these shots are herders number eight left over from last year. They're steel shot. Um, now I buy steel shot because in Newfoundland, it's illegal to possess lead shot if you're in possession of a duck or if you're duck hunting. So I buy steel to use for grouse so I can grouse hunt and duck hunt at the same time. Now, I never thought this would happen to me, but you're going to see because these are older shells, two of the shells malfunctioned and it actually could have ended very, very bad for me because the first one went off and... You know, it didn't have much power. It just spit the shell, spit the pellets out a little bit past the barrel. And I didn't know that at the time. I thought it just went off. It was a dud, so I ejected the shell. I've had that happen before. Um, however, the second one, it, uh, it did go off. The shell opened. The pellets went down my barrel and the wad, but it never exited my barrel. So I thought that one was a dud as well. I ejected it, then shot my third shot. And you're going to see what happened. Uh, basically, I shot two wads and two packs of pellets out of the same shot. Two, three. Could have been extremely bad for me my shotgun could have exploded i could have you know that slide could have come off my shotgun could have exploded god knows what could have happened so this is why you know you got to be very careful when you're shooting shotguns or any gun because by rights i shouldn't even have been using them shells um you know it's just one of the things that happens um you got to be very careful this is why buying the right shells you know don't cheap out because they might be good for the season you get them, but if you go to use them after that season, that may not be good. There's so many. So it just goes to show, you know, anything can happen when you don't think it don't think it can. Anything we'll can happen. Off. I'm very lucky. I see he's one. Can't get a shot yet though. This stuff's too thick.
Where'd he go? Where'd you clock him, buddy? Where's he doing? Oh, right there. Oh, young one. All right, guys, we got three of them. That was kind of hard. Um, yeah, truck's on down there. And, uh, you know, it was a long shot. And the two shells Colin gave me, I guess they were older shells. They didn't fire. So that was weird. But, uh, yeah. Uh, sucks they're younger birds but you can't really tell that from that distance either way still a rough growth first couple of the year for me there's probably 10 in this this clutch of them so there's brood of them there's probably 10 of them it's a bunch over here so i mean certainly no shortage of them now cool pick up your shells guys herders steel shot so I know this video wasn't the killer grouse hunting video that everybody wants to see. Um, wasn't a lot of birds killed. We are having a lot of trouble, honestly, finding grouse. Um, we managed to go to a different area and find a lot of roughies, which is awesome. Love that. Um, glad to see that they're thriving, uh, especially in that area. Um, focusing on a lot of duck hunting right now. But uh, yeah, I know this isn't like the main type of grouse videos you guys want to see. A um, bunch of different trips mashed up into one. But... I'm just going to make this video to uh, show that you got to keep your gear clean. Uh, you got to know what you're buying. You got to know what shells work good in your gun. Um, you just got to take care of your stuff and be careful and be wary of what you're buying. Um, you know, that could have gone really bad for me, like I said. Uh, I'm honestly pretty, pretty lucky because I've heard some stories of stuff like that happening and it not ending so well. So I'm very lucky and uh, I won't make that mistake again using older shells. There will be all new shells from now on. So, uh, yeah, um, I do apologize that there's no real good grouse videos coming out. Uh, they are going to come soon. I promise when the leaves start falling off the trees, it's going to be a lot easier to get some good grouse videos out. So, uh, just posting this video here just to show like what can happen like that. That's pretty scary. Even now I'm still, you know, it was still pretty scary. Um, could have gone really bad. So, like I said, I'm just putting this out here to, uh, show you that the shells you buy really do matter. Um, you want quality things, don't cheap out because uh, it could come back at you.